Wow, what's happening folks? We're posted like a mailbox that is more official than a ref or the whistling. You're posted with the P, the G, already PG. And we have our very, very special guest. Oh, I got two varies. Two varies. Two yes, varies. yes, yes. Uh, I'm trying to find something that rhymes with Gozy. What rhymes with Gozy? Nosy? I don't know. Mm. We got the black dude who ain't never nosy, Ace Boom Coon, in Gozy. Hey, what well done, well done. Well done. Oh, you used to rap. You I know. used to rap. Okay, okay. I was not good, but I used to do it. Cause honestly, when I watch your videos, I really do enjoy the, the little intros. I'm like, I, I, I rap too. I'm like, I, I can't do what you just did right now. That, that's amazing. My manager at work actually asked me the other day. He goes, Pierre, do you rap? I said, I can. He said, let me hear you post a flow right now. Is, is he white, by the way? No, not that it matters. No, no, I'm just saying no, but yes. A flow. Like, what the fuck? No, but yes. What does that mean? His name's Jerry. Black dude, he's got three kids, he's like 40. And he takes care of his family. That's a white man's <laughs> characteristic. Like, like, what is that? Oh, yeah, he loves his kids, man. He white. He know their names. Yeah, yeah. Kids. And he talks like this. Oh, he's white. Oh, uh, I'm about to say, this is a new development. Forgot to put my microphone in so y'all gonna see my face up close and personal. Fucking going. Boom, boom, boom. Now we're in there like booty hair. Yeah. Um, Why Shadow doesn't get any of this now? You put it in, <laughs> but like, like for some reason it's the sound just completely muted. Why did you say that? Yeah. Like, nope, no, nope, we're doing it. Yeah. Now, look, let me hear your, your best eight bars about a restaurant. Yeah. And they got this thing called buddy work in a restaurant, meaning like if somebody asks you for help, it doesn't matter. You just have to do it. It's okay. stupid. Yeah. So I was like, all right. And the second rule: sizzle platters. There's platters and food on it that sizzle is steam. You gotta take the sizzle platters out first. Uh -huh. And I was like. I'm in the kitchen, somebody asked for buddy work, but it don't even matter. He was like, okay. I was like, because I got to take this right here. What's that? A sizzle platter. And I was like, oh, right oh, oh and you ain't even know where I was going. Yeah, that was right but the plates are sliding out, so this food is flowing. And they were like, stop. Yeah, he's still doing it. I said, yeah. P. Diddy Bopper, back in this thing. I got my chicken and steak. Now I need sour cream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sour cream right there with the food. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, the sour cream right there. Right, right. And I was like, bars, nigga. And yeah. it was like language. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, bars, Negro. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now go help the customers. Right, right, right. right. I'll run this as a Yeah, yeah. Um, People in the, in the restaurant, they're like, why are they screaming back there? Oh my goodness, you won't kill them. Why? What is happening? Mm -hmm. Are they dying? Killing? I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Like one time I was really feeling like hyped up and energetic, and I was carrying a tray full of food. And I, just, I just dropped the tray. Yeah. I, I did it on purpose. Oh, yeah, you actually dropped the tray? I, I did on purpose, hundred percent. Why? Why? Because I'm not gonna fire you. Oh wait, we need the hand, so yeah, just, they, just clean it up. I realized a long time ago they yeah. need help. They need help. We we we, we hate this business so much. We yeah, hate. Just clean it up, yeah. And I I dropped like four plate trays one night. Yeah. And I was playing chess and not checkers. A foolish man would think that I wouldn't know how to carry a tray. A wise man would know that I'm not trying to carry anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you ain't gonna ask somebody who just dropped four to carry one more. Hey, that, that's very interesting. Mm -hmm. where, where do you work? Well, what restaurant? Oh, all right, okay, okay. Yeah, you know what, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're like, oh, no, don't worry about it. Those who know, you know where to go. Because uh, I, I, yeah. I, I, yeah, I did just say his name. His name's Jerry. Yeah, yeah, Those yeah. who watch this, you know where I work, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, we can't fire him. We need the fucking hands. Shit. Yeah, we need yeah. the fucking He's roasting me. Nah, fuck, I hate I'm gonna you. I'm going to come into work with, hey, Pierce, all the episodes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's real funny. Yeah. Yeah, don't even matter. Sizzle pile. Yeah. <laughs> Bars. Yeah, yeah. You're fired. Yeah. <laughs> don't you need the hands? Nah, nah. nah. Fuck, Fuck you. you. Yeah, cool, yeah. Cool. You're not the one anymore. Well, yeah. let me ask you this, Gozy. Uh, 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 what do you call yourself? Are you a comedian? Are you a, a, a videographer? Are you a rapper? Are you an actor? Are you a trapper? I'm, I'm just a man. I'm just a man. I'm just, I'm just a man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Say, I'm just a man. I'm I just. Am. I'm, I'm in my life. I'm the black Sean Connery. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Sean Davies Coonery. Oh. oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, no, um, I am a comedian, first mm -hmm. and foremost, yeah, for everything. And also, the whole videography, I'm just, I have a camera. And yeah, yeah. People look at me as a That's one of my fears right now. Mm -hmm. I feel like people are looking at me now and they're like, oh. You do comedy you, too? You, yeah, exactly. You do comedy too. <laughs> you, I'm like. I, I hope that's not. I, I hope it's like, hey, you're a comedian. Oh, you have a camera. Can you? I, 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 you know, just. 
I the, the video of me thing is to overtaking the car. I'm like, fuck, that's not good. Mm-mm, not even a little bit. I, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a comedian. Mm-hmm. I, dare I say a comedian. <laughs> uh, I'm a comedian. Yeah. I E N N E. How long have you been a comedian, sir? I, I'm, uh, I've been doing comedy for six years. Six years? Strong. Yeah. One second. Hello? Here where? At my apartment? Very unprofessional, guys. That's yeah. awkward. Yeah, yeah, he's calling, <laughs> taking a phone call in the middle of the interview. <laughs> Let me um, interview my damn self. You so know it goes, I don't even know that. I don't think it goes, I don't even know that. Yeah. Are you at my door? Call me when you're at my door, my dear. It will be unlocked for you to come in. Is that, is that your beloved? 1983 I. I don't know. <laughs> 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 you honestly, you honestly gotta cut things out. You really. Well, can't. I'm in the middle of doing an interview right now. <laughs> she said, What up? <laughs> this is Nicole, by the way. Hello, Nicole. Yeah. Uh, Nick Ingozi says hello. He's a very I, 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 I don't know this He's woman. I said no hello. During our interview. I do not like her at all. She's. she's <laughs> uh, like, the bad first impression on her part. She's calling in the middle of an interview. But just hit me when you're here. Okay, bye. You know what? I'm only apologizing, but I'm not going to apologize because she's buying two pieces of merch. The merch? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed that you got merch, too, by the way. I'm impressed, too. Yeah. It costs yeah. a lot of money. I want to get merch myself. You should holler at Dylan Toops. Is he the one that did this? Mm-hmm. Oh, she he gets the shirts. He got the press machine at his house already. Really? And he does it, so whatever you tell him when you want it, you literally will have it within two days. That's amazing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I know, um, you know, Andrew Stein, he has, like, merch for his head, uh, for his, uh, T, uh, the YouTube show he has. I did. Yeah, yeah, and I'm like, everybody got merch. And Not Anthony everybody. Driver, Anthony got merch. I paid it. I paid Anthony Driver $15 for a shirt two weeks ago. I'm still waiting to get it. Ha! He's like, yeah, I gotta order some more, bro. Anthony, where's the shirt? Where's the shirt, driver? Yeah. Fuck, drive him crazy. He's like, no, you ain't getting the merch. Thanks for the money, you, you idiot. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate yeah. that. That's you a good thing, Pete. Yeah. I remember when you came in here and you wanted to announce to me that there was a shit in the toilet. All right, I, I, I didn't think you wanted to bring that up, but okay. It's, I'm not ashamed of it, okay? Come before the crowd. He leaves shits and to- loose poops. <laughs> he, he leaves loose poops in the toilet. Who, who is this man? I don't leave loose poops where the poop was left and I had to shit before I take a shower and I didn't want to flush right after I got done pooping and hop in the shower because of the water would be like, ah! There, there is the smell factor. Yeah, with, with the heat from the water, and it expands. Right, I take the quick heat. showers though, so I, I, I. I feel like in those dire moments, you take cold showers, so you don't have to deal with the. Uh, <laughs> I will say this too, Anthony Driver. The very first thing he did. Um, <laughs> <laughs> your friend is here. Yep. La 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 la. How you guys doing? You guys doing all right? This is the interview. This is the interview. About to introduce a, a third party guest. You can follow me at uh, ingozicomedy.com. <laughs> you can come on in. No, don't come on in. Who is this person? <laughs> this is uh, this is business at its finest, and yeah. this is the prettiest of times. <laughs> hi, friends. Hey, hi. Uh, t- say hi to the camera. Come in, Nicole. Uh, come in. You can say hello. Like come my in. face isn't on. Come in. <laughs> Oh, you've done enough. You've done enough with interrupting the interview. Sorry. Say hello at least to the people. Say hello, Nicole. They, they must know who's interviewing. Hey. Uh, <laughs> now she'll be black if that's all white with y'all. Get, get out of here. Oh, yeah, well, I need to give you change, don't I? Okay. All right. Get the hell out. Yeah, yeah. Hey. I'll give you the change later. But get the fuck out of here. I'll give you. I'll give it to you later though. Okay, love you. Bye. Love you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. The merch. You should take pictures. All the shirts. Instagram. Twitter, Gozy Goes, G O Z I G O Z E, and GozyComedy.com. All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and Gozy is getting three berries. Yeah, I, 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 I better get an extra berry. Like, like, what the? All right. You're getting all the berries and the berries as well, sir. Berries. But what got you started in comedy? Like, was it a dare? No. Or did you do theater first and you're like, no, I want to tell some jokes? No, um, I've always been interested in comedy. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I, you know, <laughs> I've been doing comedy since I was a child. So when I, I started doing comedy six years ago, but as a kid, like, like I, I hate those people, shut the fuck up. But I've been doing comedy, uh, or, um, I was always a, a fan of comedy. 
Fresh Prince of Bel Air, mm-hmm. um, cartoons, all that shit. Um, and then there were like I think moments in my life where I was like, people told me like you should do comedy or right, like like tell me a joke because like I guess you're funny or whatever, you know. So I like now that I'm a comedian. That's one of the worst things you can say to me is tell me a joke. Oh no, yeah, I'm not gonna tell you any joke. Fuck you. Like yeah. this chick at work today said, I don't even tell people I'm a comedian. Other people do. Uh huh. Yeah. So yeah. like this chick was like, yeah. Uh huh. This chick was like, oh my god, Pierre's a comedian. I was like, fuck, here it comes. And she was like, oh, you're a comedian. And I was like, I, I guess. And then she was like, well, tell me a joke. And I said, everything's gonna be okay. And she was like, what? And I'm like, everything's going to be okay. Well, How do you know that? I'm like, that's the joke. Yeah, it's you. No, actually, though, uh, when I when people tell me, uh, ask me, told me a joke, I usually just say, "Let's just talk." <laughs> let, 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 let's just talk, and then I'll say some funny shit. I'm not gonna right. like, "All right, what's up?" Uh, how do you feel about rape jokes? You're like, oh, no, 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 okay, all right, uh, I'll, figure, I'll figure out a joke for you. Uh, yeah. No, just like, talk. If you say some... you don't like rape jokes, and <laughs> yeah, I think you like rape jokes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, joke I know what no means. <laughs> no, let's, let's fucking riff. Let's you and I just talk back and forth, mm-hmm. and then I'll say something funny, maybe, hopefully. You know, I'm not gonna. Oh, I forgot to even ask this primarily though. What's your Instagram so people can follow you? Honestly, I think these people already know. I already told them. I, I, as you were doing your business with with uh, selling merch. By the way, Rady PG, <laughs> great merch. <laughs> Wonderful. I, I mean, honestly, I love it. It's, it I, says Rady PG. Impressed. This is the 2.0 merch, by the way. Rady yeah. PG, but not really though. Uh, pink for the men. Uh, yeah. <laughs> pink for the Why? Kanye lovers. While you bullshit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kanye, I sold, Cameron and Kanye. I sold three pink hoodies. Only one has been to a woman, and I really? her. Good. Other two dudes, like, bro, you got that pink? You see me in yellow. I wear the pink. Honestly, though, I mean, despite I like the shoes. whole gender thing, pink is a great color. I, I I would rock pink if I could, like, find a dope pink thing. That's what I'm saying. I don't have pink shoes. Yeah, yeah, pink shoes. <laughs> if I be one of those people, be one of those people. Let me have a pink pair of shoes, bro. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you. Totally. I'd wear purple. Uh huh. And have a Crown Royal hoodie. I'd be royal shit, bro. I try to tell them. <laughs> Um, be rocking. But uh, what got you started? I, mean, I know you said you're always interested in doing it, but yeah. like, was, was that the first place you went for, to do stand up? Um, in college, uh, I went to UNC, mm-hmm. and okay, so I think I think like I've always been interested in comedy since high school, or whatever. That definitely like, like oh, maybe I should do it or whatever, you know. And then in college, uh, freshman year of college, do you know Louis Black? Yeah. He was coming. He came to UNC like He's every a year. Now isn't he? No, not at all. Yeah, I, th- I think you're thinking of um, the dude that got me too. Um, fucking, uh, he, 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 um, I can't, I can't think. I know of you're talking about, but yeah, I know who uh, you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, but Louis Black, he, he's on like Daily Show and shit. Uh, he, he's the man to be that that dude. But pre- uh, pretty much, um, his name is like Fracken or something. Like Fra- that. Yeah, Al Fracken. Al Fracken. Yeah, 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 yeah. Al Franken. Al Franken. Franken yeah. He um. We'll come to UNC like every year to put on like a comedy show for the students, and you'll have like a little competition for the comedians. You'll have uh, for the students who who wants to do on the sh- come on a show, mm-hmm. and whoever won the competition, like top three, they get to do a show with them. And so uh, freshman year, um, he came and they had the competition. I was like, oh my goodness, this this is comedy. Right. Well, this is my uh, this is my first time seeing live comedy. I was like, these people are amazing. They bomb. They all fucking suck. Like, every one of them suck. Everyone sucks. But I was like, how do you? These, these wizards, yeah. how are they doing this? This is amazing. They all suck, but I was like, ah. And then uh, junior year of college, mm-hmm. I was like, I'm going to do it this year. I'm, I'm going to do stand-up, and I'm going to get on this fucking show. I'm, I really want to do this show. And so, like, I think I had, I did, like, four shows right before I auditioned. Like, okay, and I got I- it. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. The first one was at DSI Comedy in Chapel Hill. Yeah, they're, they're closed now, so... Figure that point. Take that shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take that. <laughs> Reverse that shit. Uh, yeah, and I got on and I did that shit. Um, How did you do? Probably I t- killed. I killed. Oh. oh. Oh, I mean, my first time on stage, it was like, whatever the fuck. Right. Yeah, but my mind was focused on, like, I, I want to get on this show. Mm. I, I want to get on this Blue's Black show. Yeah, and, and you got on. I got show. on. I, I killed the audition. People were like, oh! I was like, this is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are well, you not entertained? <laughs> Hell yeah. I shook the sand and shit, um, and then uh, I did the actual show with mm-hmm. him, and then that was amazing. I was like, oh my goodness, this is a thing. I I, I, I found it. In college, I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm right. going to be a doctor. Uh, my grades <laughs> suck. My grades suck. Yeah, and... Uh, and then I did the next year too, senior. I did uh, the same show. And I, I was gonna say, was that like a big crowd of people? The actual showcases? Mm-hmm. Oh, packed out, 
packed out, like like three hundred probably, or or maybe two hundred to two hundred. I don't know. That was one of the next questions. What was the biggest show you performed at or for? Or uh, what was the most memorable place doing comedy has taken you since you've been doing it? I have no idea, to be honest. My most memorable place doing comedy. That sounds like it to me, like Louis Black. Well, so those were in my first years of doing comedy, first two years. That, I mean, those are like highlights. Like, oh my goodness, mm-hmm. I can't believe it. I, I've never like opened for like any big people since that. I did. I did a show with Tim Nataro, open for her. Okay. That was my second year of doing. You know comedy. what? You're fucking right. I just thought about something. When I first started doing, like my first year, I op- I don't. It's I don't. I'm not gonna say I opened for, but I performed before, like Emmanuel Hudson, Philip Hudson, and Young Jock. Young Jock, <laughs> hey Young Jock, the rapper. What the fuck? I should probably do this on stage too. The first uh-huh. time I met Young Jock, I was at Atlanta Comedy Theater. I was so fucking new to stand up. I probably did it eight times maybe. Uh-huh. And a buddy of mine was a DJ and filmmaker, director and stuff, and he said he had a comedy show, and I was like, bro, can you put me on? He was like, yeah, I was so not fucking ready. Ha! And I shouldn't have even asked him, but yeah. I did. And I mean, put it's me good, on. it's good that you did. I did, I got there, and I see like all these famous people like on Instagram, like Emmanuel Hudson, Philip Wait, Hudson. you said this is your first time doing stand It's like, I've done it like eight times. Eight times, and you were like, can you put me on? The fuck am I doing? Yeah. yeah. And he said, yeah, and I was like, ah! So I get there, and I see oh, all God. these famous people, and I'm, I'm literally in a corner like this with my book. Mm-hmm. I'm so fucking new. You know? Yeah, no, no, no. I'm so I, I, no, no, no. Old people, veterans, they do the same shit with the fucking. I, I do that yeah. all the time. I was in a corner, literally, just like this. Reason where people are walking by, and yeah. Young Jock walks, and I hear commotion. Shit, and he got like three women with him. He comes up and goes, "Hey, what up, bro?" And like that's it. I was like, Young Jock seen me do stand up. Young Jock think I'm funny. That's what's up. And he was like, "Hey, bro, I need a table." I said, "Huh?" Ha! He was like, I need a table. Now at the time, I was wearing, I used to wear, wear suits when I did stand-up. So I had like black slacks and like button down in the vest. I remember that. Mm-hmm. And he was like, I need a table. Then I, I knew he thought I was valet or like a waiter. That's, cool. that's what everyone thinks. And I was like, yeah, I can't get you a table job. And he was like, well, I need a chair or something. And I was, and he looked to point to my chair. I said, well, this is my chair. Because yeah. there were no chairs. And now we're about to fight with Young Jock. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, Nigga, Do you know who I am? I am Young Jockus the Third. Joculus the Third. Yeah. And I was no, like, wait. No, this whole time I thought you were talking about Young Jeezy. Young Jock, oh, fuck Jock. Young, fuck Young Jock. I, I, mean, I, mean, I, I mean, Young Jock, if, if you watch this video, I, I love you. I you you're you're uh, I know when I was a kid. I'm going fuck to have Young, young Jock. Yeah, yeah. Now. But the fucking, uh, he wore a dress or something. He had right? a pompadour. Yeah. And it was blue that Yeah, time. yeah, yeah. And, but he was like, I was like, yeah, this is my chair. And he was like, well, bro, I need a chair. I said, I'm gonna fuck what you need, Jock. Yeah. And he was like, what? And I was like, <laughs> and then I realized that he thought that I worked here. Like, I, I saw it in his eyes. Yeah. He was talking to me. <laughs> and I was like, you think I work here? Yeah. And he was like, yeah. And I was like, I don't work here. He was like, boy, you look like you work here. And that sounded like a and, roast. And he's trying to make you look stupid because right. he felt stupid in that moment. And then the women he was with laughed. And I said, boy, you look like somebody's proud single mother. And, yeah. <laughs> and all the women just was like, ah! And he was like, for real? I said, nigga, you look like a lesbian who hit the lotto and every Valentine's Day your son is your king, head ass. <laughs> and then everybody started laughing and he was like, oh, you a comedian? And I was like, and then I realized I roasted Young Jock because it just happened. I, yeah. It just. It but, just but you were on stage no, earlier, you said, right? I've been on stage like eight times. No, before. no, no, I mean, but at that night. No, and I had to oh, go no, on stage. Oh, oh, so this before you went up. Okay. Yeah, okay. and then my okay. homie came out and was like, oh, what up, Jock? Like that, the mother man, feeling hustling and everybody. And he was like, Tell them what you just said about me. Ha! No, no, no. And I was like, I don't remember what I said. I really didn't. That was how I was of course, like, you're in the moment. You're just saying shit just to get about. Yeah. And then they went on stage. They killed it. And then, like, my buddy was like, yo, we about to put you on right now. You get three minutes. And I was like, okay. At the time, I didn't. I, I was like, I right, bet. And I went three minutes. And the first dude went out there. And it was like, at any point in three minutes, if these niggas is trash, boom. Handed the dude the microphone. And the first dude was like, hey, my name is such and such. They was like, boom. <laughs> Not even three seconds. I started sweating. I was sweating. Uh, uh, hi, my name was uh, Michael. Oh, I, I just said my name. I just said my name. Why are you guys boys? And then the oh, man Hudson took the mic from him, gave it to the next dude, and the next dude was like, man, I'm about to roast you, nigga, talking about Emmanuel Hudson, and everybody was like, oh, okay. He was like, boy, you built like a goddamn so, so I don't remember what he said, but it was not fluid. And Emmanuel yeah. Hudson just was like, Went like that, he was like, what? And he was like, give me your mic. Took the mic and handed it to me. And I was like, wah! I just started screaming, everybody was like, wah! A bunch of people from New Orleans in there. Wait, 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 is that from something? New Orleans, people from New Orleans. <laughs> okay, okay. Like, you know, they be like, hey, baby, they call everybody baby. Okay, okay, And they okay. like, wah! So, you know, it's babies, mate. Uh-huh, okay, okay. 
That's as far as I it's, it's a very stupid thing. I didn't get booed. A very stupid New Orleans there. Huh? Yeah, so, I didn't okay. get booed that night. Yeah. So. But that goes to my next question. Uh, what's your most memorable bomb, sir? The one you close your eyes and you're like, ooh, shit. I mean, honestly, it's like yeah. with, with the best set thing. Like, like I, I, I don't know what my best bomb is because... <laughs> I bomb all the time. I bomb all the time, so I don't know which one. I'm proud of you for saying that. Yeah. Because a lot of people, like Elijah was one of them. Elijah Transu, he was like, yeah, I don't bomb. Yeah. And me and Cap were like, what do you mean you don't bomb? But honestly, though, it's also like a perspective. It thing is. I'm like, what found out. a bombing could be. Because uh, Sinbad, he's like, I've never bombed. I'm like, shut the fuck up, Sinbad. But like, like uh, it, it could be like what he thinks of what bombing is. And I think a lot of, some people think a bomb is like when you go out there and you have five minutes and nothing you say for the entirety of five minutes gets a single laugh. Yeah. Because some, if you, I, I, personally, I've not said this to anybody else, but I'll say, I believe you need to get your first laugh within 10 seconds. When you get into the stage, oh, that's believable. like grabbing a microphone, and after you get that first laugh, it kind of just builds off of that. So if you don't get that first laugh, where it takes you like a minute to get your first laugh, yeah, it might not be that great. And I, I consider a bomb. It's like a grading test. Me, if you score a seventy, that's a bomb to me. Personally, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, it, yeah. Once again, it depends on like how and, you're grading that night and shit, like and so, how you go into it too. Because a lot of people uh -huh. are like, I'm going into this trying new jokes. Uh -huh. If I get one new joke that works out of ten, I'm, I'm so happy. I'm so happy right now. Like, I came in for this joke. I, everything else, I'm like, right. whatever. Fuck everything. But, but, but that joke, that, that's what I wanted to know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if, like uh, if I did a show that I'm very anticipatory for, like, like mm -hmm. I, uh, I really hope I do good on the show, and like some of my jokes kind of suck, but some of them did great. I would leave that show like sad. Yeah, I would be like, fuck, fuck. I, I, I wanted to kill this shit. I wanted to kill this, but you know that that's so. To to me, that could be constantly as a bomb or whatever. So yeah. So it just honestly, it depends on the show. And you don't have one in your mind that's like, yeah, that was probably a really. Well, really so show. I think in my first two years, I probably had like some bombs I could think about. So like, uh, those one show. Uh, it was at like a lounge. If you don't want to think I, back on this dark, yeah, yeah, you yeah. can say that. I mean, yeah, no, no, I'm fine now. Like, like three minutes later, I start crying. <laughs> it, it, like, it threw cream pie in my face. It threw cream pie. What type of show is this? Or you do the whole Joe Smith. Yeah. You don't think they're funny. Don't boo them. Just don't laugh. Like, yeah. Go home, review their material, and kill themselves. I mean, honestly, though, for, so with this show, uh, it was like a all oh, black room. Uh, okay. as, as all bomb stories. As all bombs. <laughs> <laughs> White comics, black comics, so it was uh, all so I was at in the urban room. <laughs> I was at like Cats. I was at Atlantic Comedy Theater. Yeah. The no show was like, I was at Laughing Skull and they booed me. Like, like what? Laughing Skull? What, what were you saying? Like, Wait, what did you do? I don't like trans. <laughs> I don't like transgender or gays. Boo! Boo! Boo. Get the fuck out! Like, like, you get those stories. Like, Boo! <laughs> Do it laughing school, but like uh, it was a uh, like a black show. It was uh, a lounge or whatever in North Carolina. And it, like I think in my second year doing comedy or whatever. And um, that's when you thought you were hot shit. No, no, not at all. I mean, I mean, just like I was already anxious about doing that show in general. Mm -hmm. Like, it, cause there was like a huge crowd, and uh, I don't really do that many black shows in general. So like, I think I was very anxious. I'm gonna say I think it's a lot harder to get booked for black rooms. I just need to do more. Per personally, I just need to do more. Like, I'm hoping this year I'm going to start doing a lot more. We'll mm. see. I don't know. Do, do you do a lot of black rooms? I've been told, like, I, 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 I'm not really into myself, if you will, like, looking back on the rooms that I've done, but I just started doing that recently. Like, when I first started doing comedy, I did do a lot of white rooms, mm -hmm. only because I did not know about the black rooms. Yeah. And I did not know how to get on those shows. Because there's most of these shows in these black rooms are, like, word of mouth. Like that. I mean, are you talking about showcases or open mics? Open mics. I mean, I mean, because you go to open mics. Cat. I mean, cats. Cats is not an open mic. We talk about this. Oh my god. It, it, have it, you it, ever been to cats? Let me ask you. I've been to cats. You've done on. You've been on that stage. Yeah, twice. I have never once been on that stage. I've, I've gone up there for a year and a half. So, yeah, that that's one of those things about some black rooms. Like you put your name down and they don't put you. They don't put you up. It's like what for the fuck? seven weeks in a row. Uh -huh. I've been the first person that cast. Uh -huh. No bartenders there, just me. You put your name. You put your name down first too. And then our last model there, Will Foskey came in. He his name was fourth. Allison, this other chick, her name was like eighth on the list. 
Yeah. And I was the first person there, and he did not put me on. He put Will Foskey, Allison, and this other I know Allison Carroll? Yeah. Okay. And she bombed horribly. Yeah. Like, she was there. We talked about it afterwards. She, yeah. she was getting ready to go home. Yeah. Like, at the end of the night, they were like, Allison, we're going to put you up. And I was standing right at there. At least she went up. At least she went up and got there. Like, like right. honestly, to me, if you get on just in general, then I'm like, okay, I mean, it's, uh, the fucking bomb sucks. But I'm happy. I was able to get on the show because right. I normally can't get on this shit. And that's the thing. It was her first time ever even trying. Over there? Yeah. And I was like, bro, and I was like, remember four weeks ago? And like for five weeks at this point, he was like, I'm going to put you on first next week. Uh-huh. And I would say it to the, the night, like 11 30. Host? Maurice said. Every, well, Maurice, okay, this is how it works. You write the name on the list. Yeah. Maurice has another list. In his ha <laughs> And then the host comes in. And oh, then that's host, just for show. Sure. Yeah, then the host has a list. Maurice will alter the host's list with his own. This sign up sheet. We just put that out for the open mic. Just right. That, just for more crowd. So say that Cats is an open mic is a fucking joke. Yeah. Because I have been the first person there eight weeks. Yeah. I have never performed there once. Yeah. Even everybody there, Marvin Hunter, Cameron Keys, Spencer Neal, all these other people. Like, bro, you ain't never been on the stage? I'm like, not once. Yeah. And nigga, we see you, you, you every week. Uptown? Yeah. <clears throat> you I haven't mean, been to Uptown in like a year, though. I haven't been to the new Me neither. Room. Yeah. Well, if it was still on Marietta Street, I would be going there all the time. But, uh... Yeah, it's like a hate filter. I'm like, I don't know where that is, and uh, I, I just need, I just need to make an effort. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know how much time we have left because I forgot to hit record on our timer. But let me ask you this: Watch how probably stop like, like like five minutes ago. Yeah. No. How much time we got? Oh, we got we got time. We got seven minutes. Oh, that's plenty. Of time. Let me ask you this: Have you ever been booed? <clears throat> so actually, that that's all I'm gonna say with that show. <laughs> <laughs> that's well, actually what I was leading to. Uh, so with that show. Uh, the microphone was kind of uh, fucking up initially, uh-huh. and uh, I don't know. Uh, that was just like a weird air. I, okay, that's not really a yeah. Okay. So so um, the host went up. He did his thing. Uh, I think he did either mediocre or like whack or whatever. I don't know. But the microphone was kind of wacky too. So that kind of added to that. <laughs> and then I was the first comic, so I'm like, fuck, you know. And like like everything, I was like, ah, oh. I went up on stage, started doing my shit. Right. I think in the first, I think I had seven minutes to do. Okay. And like I think three minutes in, some people, some guy in the crowd was like, next comic. Yeah, that hurts. Yeah, I was, and, and then I was like, I was trying to play it off, like, what you talking about, sir? You know. And then some other people were, uh, I, was, I was trying to do crowd work. I was like, what do you do? And he was like, I do this. It, it, was, it was just bad. Yeah, and yeah. some other people were, they were like, ah, boo, whatever, you some see, shit. You never just, do crowd work. Yeah. You don't do crowd work? No, I mean, I only do it certain times. I like uh, the, somebody asked you why, and I couldn't really give them an answer because I didn't know why. And then I heard Chris, I was watching an interview with Chris Rock, and they asked him, they said, do you get hecklers? And he was like, mm-mm. And they're like, like nobody helps you, and he was like, I don't get hecklers. He was like, because I don't give them time. Yeah. He said, like, my material, the shit I do, you don't have time to speak. There is no space <coughs> for interjection mm-hmm. in my set. And I kind of figure I do the same thing. Like when my comedy, like some people are like, you don't do crowd work. I'm like, there at no point in anything am I saying is there a reference to someone to speak to me. That's very interesting. That's that's. I never realized until then because like I know what I'm gonna talk about. I have books. Like I told other people, like I'm, I want to actually write for people, and I was talking. Do you know Kedar? Yeah. Kedar, I was talking to him about it. And I said I would like to sell my jokes. I have ten books, front pages, back to back of things I've never even said on stage. And he no, was don't like, "Don't sell that shit." I mean, you can, but like, fucking, that's material. And, you said this, and he was like, "Do you know why you shouldn't sell your jokes?" And I was like, "Why?" He goes, "Cause nobody you know could afford them." He said, because let's say this. Let's say you give somebody a joke book, like one of my first ones I have. Yeah. He's at 70 pages or whatever. You sell it to him for 100 bucks, right? Let's say they get booked for a show and they get millions of dollars. You can't do shit about it because you sold him a joke. Uh-huh. And he was like, so... Maybe because gonna, of those jokes. Right. He was like, so if you're going to sell a joke, you would have to sell it for... I was like, what's the market for selling jokes? And he said, $30,000. I said, for real? He said, because what if somebody makes 100000 off of it? That's a very interesting point of view. And I was like, right. That's said, a that's, very interesting. And yeah. He yeah. said, this is why you see famous people stealing jokes from people open micers and stuff like that. Yeah. And I was like, mm. He was like, so if you want to sell it, make sure that nigga got $30,000. That's <laughs> that, that, that is very, I mean, also, though, I, I will never sell any of my jokes. Because, what? Well, I mean, I mean, I, these are my jokes. <laughs> my, my, <laughs> get your my experience. These are mine. <laughs> get your own. These are mine. But uh, also, like, like, why... 
That's a weak shit. If you're buying them jokes, for, that's well, I put it like this. Yo, yo, yo. You know, you, know, you know that joke you got about pull, uh, big boy yeah. over? Can I buy that for you? No. Yeah, like five thousand dollars. Fuck. That's one way more. Five thousand. Okay, ten dollars. Ten thousand. Can I have that joke? It's a good joke. Like, like literally, every night. I'm seriously thinking about it, and everything inside me is just like. <laughs> yeah. Um. We about got about a minute left, though, okay. or two minutes. What shows do you have coming up in, within the next month? Um, well, for the month of April, I guess uh, in April I got a ladies' night next <laughs> week on the fourth. Uh, oh, so, so uh, that's April fourth. That's a Thursday. Uh, yeah, and actually, I got my show. I got my show, Educated Mess. Hand um, shots. Yeah, hand of shots. Uh, April third. So come out to that. That's yeah, and I got other dates on ngozycomedy.com. Yeah, yeah. If, if, if you guys are interested, you guys are interested. I've heard you talk just, about ngozycomedy.com. Yeah, the, every time I left the exactly. room. Exactly. The fuck you leaving the room and anyway. I apologize. It's fine. Um, I'm just trying to be a gentleman and a scholar. Yeah. Um, stop calling me. I'm a very important person. Yeah. Uh, I have merch for sale. Mm. I want to thank yeah, you for coming through. Phone's blowing up, yeah. My nigga who's never nosy, yeah. the Ace Boom, Coom, and Gozy. Well done. Thanks for kicking us on Radio PG. You will find out of my shows on my Instagram. You can follow me at P Diddy Bop. I believe yours is Go and Gozy. Uh, and Gozy Comedy dot com. Or, or are you talking about Instagram? Instagram uh, Gozy Goes. G O Z I G O Z E. There we go. Yeah. And folks, we'll be black if that's all white with you. Au revoir, adios, rivederci, ciao, shalom, au wiedersehen, tos vidanya, aloha. He's still going. Ay, asayo. Yeah. Salam. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum wa salam. Other thing. Um, ciao, do vidzenia. That's Polish. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you guys are sticking around for this, you guys are a wonderful crowd. Yeah, continue. Yeah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, fuck with yeah. me one time. Oh, 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 goddamn. I don't know, that's all the language. Yeah, he, he's ran out, he's ran out, he's ran out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might should fuck with the merch though. Just hit me up on the DM, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Follow the bros and Gozy, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? This is like my cat got this my nigga Billy Willie. Billy! I'm drunk, I'll be back. Are you keeping this?